have a shower in the morning where I don't wear, um, wash my face with Shiseido um, foaming cleansing balm, which is like extra creamy. Um, just pick that up from like the airport travel size and it's so great. Um, then I, this is in the morning, then I'll use um, the Emma Hardy cleansing balm just to get off any sort of residue makeup. Um, then I'll put on, depends on like how my skin's feeling, I'll put on a glycolic acid toner um, from like Mario Badescu or something like that. Um, either that or another toner, which is an AHA toner um, from Ren, I think. Uh, it's like to give you a good glow. Then I'll put on a soothing uh, balm from Nukes or Nuts, don't know how you say it. Um, and then that should be good to go before I put on my makeup. So then with makeup, I usually have all of that moisturizer on, so I won't need to add primer. I'll use a Charlotte Tilbury, um, um, what's it called, Hollywood Glow, Hollywood Skin, Flash, whatever. Um, put that on, it's got a really nice brush on it. Um, after that, I'll put on Chanel uh, Aqua, something Lumiere um, foundation which is in beige 20 and it's really great um, so use that sparingly as it's quite expensive and then after that I'll just see how I'm feeling if I need to add some CC cover up then I will um, as, a fun, as a concealer and yeah that should be good to go put on some blush and then mascara and that should be okay Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think anti-aging properties are really important to have. So, yeah, I, I think anything that is going to protect you against the sun or have wrinkle-reducing properties, like that's a plus. Um, and people just expect that now in their makeup. If, if it's not SPF 15, then I'll buy something that is, and also moisturising, you know? Like, so I think, yeah, it is important. Well, I mean, I am environmentally conscious, so I would want the packaging to be sustainably sourced, but I understand that like not all brands do that. So it's not, it's not like a, a detractor if it's not sustainably sourced, but you do look at the packaging. Uh, I'm, I'm not um, phased by packaging because I've worked in advertising for a long time now. so. I, I'm not looking for that, I'm looking at the ingredients and what it's made from really. Online research, uh, never really buy it in store unless it's at the airport. So it's all online, cult beauty, um, do a bit of research. I think just Something that has anti-aging properties, is moisturising, all in one, put it on before you go. I think that would be my kind of product. Um, and also something that sort of clears your skin as well because I'm, I've still got um, pimples and stuff. So yeah, cool.